Hey there guys, Lord Frigid here, and it is time for another edition of Event Running. This time we have the Defiled Warden event. The Glade Keeper has been twisted by the Druid's corruption. You must put down the once noble spirit to save the Glade he was made to protect. Alright, so I'll head on in. <laughs> it looks like we are too late. The Glade Keeper has already fallen to the Druid's corruption. If we were to save the forest to stop the Druid, their only choice is to take down the Glade Keeper. Oh no. Okay, so we're going to see an arena-style event. The Glade Keeper is in the center, and he is currently being protected by these Glade Corruptors. He has two attacks in this uh, rooted-in-the-ground form. He throws those vegetation orbs. I don't know what to call those. And he summons AoE Slows. Uh, so this is pretty straightforward. Just take out the Corruptors. Make sure you don't get destroyed by all the spawns. And once he's standing, rail away. Actually what happens when he's in standing form, he starts by summoning a bunch of poison pool from the sky, so all you need to do is burst him down. So that was really trivial of an event. Um, yeah. <laughs> Heading back down here, let's see what we can get from the lockbox. Hope it's a new item. That would be awesome. Of course we know how that works out, usually. Oh well. I figured that since the wizard room was so short, Bits. I'd go ahead and showcase a night okay. run as well. I only have three. Yay! Um, I am using potions. My knight okay. is horribly undergeared. All right. He has. Well, he does uh, have the mythic trinkets from the uh, last oh, event. Right here. His appearance gear uh, there's however, more, is mm, partially artifact desert exile and partially elite mythic demon slayer, which actually have the same stats. I thought that was really interesting. And then his gear set is a relic. No, not Relic. Artifact Beastmaster Axe, and the rest is Relic Pharaoh. So that's, that's really fun. Um, so yeah, the, we'll get to see some things, some new things that we didn't get to see with the wizard run. First off, these AoE slows that he summons while he is in the ground, they actually become AoE damage once he gets out of the ground. I thought that I found that to be quite unique and very surprising when I was getting killed by that area attack that I thought was only slowing me. <laughs> and as you can see, after a certain amount of time, he will go back into the ground and be protected again by the Glade Corruptors. And what's going to happen is you need to take down the Glade Corruptors because they are healing him. He only does this once as far as I know. I haven't ever encountered a situation where he does it more than once. So there's that to account for. There's a lot more uh, Strangler and and I don't even want to remember what the Suicide Ghoul equivalents are called, but they have a special name, I just don't remember it. Huh. So, and he gains a new attack this second time he comes out of the ground. He starts, he starts ground pounding like, uh, like the Siege Beast, and you kind of want to watch out for that. Uh, if you're a knight. Obviously, if you're a wizard or archer, you wouldn't be standing under it, because that would be just dumb. <laughs> so yeah, watch out for it. Make sure you mind the AoE slows. And I need to run. Yay, cooldown potions. <laughs> okay, that was that. Hmm... So that's really it for the event discussion. Okay. Let's see what we can pull out of these lock this lockbox here. Five dragon stones, alright, better than a double hit. Alright, so those are the event runs. I hope they were enjoyable for you, and I will catch you in two weeks for the next event running video. Thanks for watching.